House of Representatives, District 177, Deidre White for the Republican Party. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me. For those of you who were at the first meeting I spoke at, you will be pleased to know I brought my own timer. And I brought notes that I can actually see. So I am here tonight because I'm a candidate for state representative for District 177, as mentioned. I would like to say to you that I am here because, in my mind, it is about our people and not about politics. I noticed you did not clap for me when I came up. I don't know if that's because I'm the challenger or the Republican in the room. But I do want you to know that I am here because of our people. And that's where my heart is, my calling, and that is why I want to seek this position. It's out of a passion and heart for our community because I see opportunities that are passing our community by. You know, it's not enough to be liked. Every representative that we send to speak for us, to fight for us, and produce results for us, I forgot to start the timer, <laughs> must be our most capable at getting the job done. Because we're competing against every other community in the state and all their representatives. It's not just about us here, we're competing against the entire state. And jobs, development, the promotion of our representatives, which then put them in a position of authority in the legislature, all of those things go into play to make our representative capable of producing results for our community. I am a person that strives for results. I am driven to achieve results. I've successfully brought forward good legislation to our local community in tangible ways, as in your money and your opportunities. I have fended off bad legislation that would have hurt our money locally and our opportunities for growth. I did that as a city council representative for District 2, which is fully encased in uh, District 177. It's the, also the majority of the city for this district. So I know this district. I know its people. I'm familiar with our needs and where we have shortfalls and where we need help. And while it's enough to be a servant, and everyone in this room are servants, or you wouldn't be here at this time on Monday night, you know, looking for a building that's very difficult to find if you're not a VSU person. But in the meantime, VSU needs our help. VSU just lost the honors program that we've had for the past 32 years, and I'm not even sure if anybody knew that was coming or happening or not until we read it in the paper. But we need representatives Everyone, we can't afford for one single person that holds a seat for this community to not be in the position to be effective. So I'm going to jump to that with, I have the support and endorsement of the governor of this state. Now whether you hate the governor, love the governor, agree with some or none of the governor's views, we can agree that he's going to be our governor for the next two years, which is the session that I'm competing for. So can we afford another two years of being sidelined because our representative is not quite in the position to be able to produce for us. I'll be able to do that. If you can't be in a position to speak your position where people of authority will listen or can listen, then we're sidelined. Um, I feel like I am in a better position and a more capable position to do a better job for us. It is not anything personal, as I have stated from the beginning, against Representative Sharper. I just feel like I can do a better job for us. I also have the support and endorsement of the Speaker of the House, Derek Lawson, who will be here this week to endorse me. Okay, he is the person who runs the House of Representatives, so everything that goes on in that House is at his hand. And he has fully committed to me and will be here to say so himself that I have his support and endorsement and he will help me in any way he can to, for me to be able to help our community. And that means a lot in that position. I'm prepared, I'm capable, I have a record of hard work and producing results and that is what I will do for us. I will go with the intent of focusing on legislation, good or bad, that will benefit all of us in our community. Quality jobs, Healthcare issues, 
We need act, everyone needs access to health care. That is not an issue that I am against. I've been on the record to say that. But finding the way to get your other partners to agree to that, that was going to take work and it's going to take someone who they will at least listen to. And I can do that for us. I appreciate your at least indulging me. I appreciate your support. I am asking for your vote because I'm telling you, look, I'm ahead of time. <laughs> Tell me I will do a better job for us. It's um, I appreciate everything that Representative Sharper has done. I don't think there's anyone that has been more of a servant in his community. But when you're playing on a field of some kind or in a game of some kind, you play your best player for the play that you need run. And right now, we need a player that is in a better position to run that ball across the line for us. And I can do that for us. So thank you for your time. Enjoy your night. And I appreciate your support.